All right, so ladies and gentlemen, it's been a while, but I am back at it again. When was the last time I actually started this recording? Like around last year or so? Man, it's been a while. I've been like busy and all that crazy stuff. You know what I mean? But I'm slowly getting my way back to the whole social media scheme, if you will. Um, for many of you that have not seen or have not known um, who, I, who I am, uh, my name is Christian Paul. I am the host of the Nerd Chronicles here on YouTube, as well as uh, hosting a podcast on Anchor called The Bob Chronicles. Uh, you can definitely listen up on Anchor, Apple, um, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, um, any other podcast that's listening that's out there. You can definitely find it. Um, Anchor.com slash Christian, that's Paul23. I'm going to definitely put the link in the description so that you'll be able to actually see, you know, basically the full audio journal of yours truly, if you will, and basically what you can learn from the mistakes that I've made and all the screw-ups that I had had, had had made in the past so that no one would be able to try and make my mistakes come in the future. So um, with that being said, I have a bit of a sneak peek for one of my current episodes I'm looking to do, um, Up by Anchor, which is going to be like a very long one, and it's basically going to be called The Leftovers, and this situation here is going to be related to it. Uh, we're going to basically discuss about um, a heavy situation that's basically uh, what a leftover man is. And I'm going to provide you an example uh, in this video right here um, based on um, based on um, elevating um, Royal Impact player um, of the Charlotte Hornets who is currently a restricted free agent in the NBA named Miles Bridges. Right? So... Homeboy here is basically alleged um, to have abused his wife. And we are going to go watch the clip of their son together. Um, basically, um, his wife, we're going to actually dig more detail about who she is and how long they've been together in the whole nine yards. But let's see what the son says um, right here, per se. Let's go check it out. Daddy choked mommy? Why? I told you that. Well, what did you do? I told you that daddy died with You hit him and told him to be nice? Mm-mm-mm. Hard to defend. Can't defend this. And let's go replace again just so we can get the gist over here. All right, just in case you know you didn't get the memo of what the son said. And then we're going to go quickly glance at like a news article based on what really went down here. What? Daddy choked mommy? Why? Oh my God. My, 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 my goodness. Let, let's take a quick break, y'all. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we have this article coming out of Newsweek that actually discusses the whole uh, domestic violence situation here, uh, which um, Bridget's wife here is Michelle. Johnson and they share a very young child together where their son uh, is basically saying daddy choke mommy you know you can basically try and look it up for yourself um news.com miles with his wife for, like instagram all that stuff you see it all right this one's trying to let you know on that so she's basically saying she's recovering from a fractured nose wrist torn eardrum torn muscles in my neck for being chilling so i went to sleep in a severe concussion and she shared the set of several photographs actually they shared two children together i didn't even notice that but omg omg all right all right all right and a 
and I, from what I've been reading, they've been dating for about six years, right? So we're going to try and get to this whole situation. And we know this is um, Michelle's Instagram page over here as well. And she says, I hate that it has come to this, but I can't be signed anymore. I've allowed someone to destroy my home, abuse me in every way possible, and traumatize our kids for life. I have nothing to prove to the world, but I won't allow anyone who could do something so horrible to have no remorse and paint a picture of something I'm not. I won't allow the people around him to continue to silence me and continue to lie to protect this person. It's unethical. It's immoral. It's truly sick. It hurts my heart because I've always had hope. And so much love and as scary as this is for me to do, it's time I stand up for myself. I won't be sound to protect others anymore because I value myself and my kids more than anyone's image. A fractured nose, wrist, torn eardrum, torn muscles in my neck from being choked until I went to sleep in a severe concussion. I don't need sympathy. I just don't want this happening to anyone else. I just want this person to get help. My kids deserve better. That's all I want. It hurts. Everything hurts. This situation hurts. Most importantly, I'm scared and hurting for my kids. We're witnesses to everything. Please respect my family's privacy and stop with the disgusting rumors and allegations. So as we see, we see um, all the bruises is coming on on um, Michelle's face here. Very, very unfortunate. Very, very um, disturbing. You know, you, you can't really defend something like this. It's just beyond barbaric. And I didn't even have to say the words. You're really trying to like choke your wife out, and she didn't even actually do any physical harm to you. You know, I go through all these pictures here. Actual bruises come from the scar. That's not even close to makeup because there's like some. Literally some got scars in between. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Ouch. Ouch. Mm -mm -mm. Discharge information, myself, Johnson, my show. Adult victim of physical abuse by male partner itself by strangulation, brain concussion, clothes, fracture and nails of bone, contusion of rib, multiple bruises, strain of neck muscle. All taking place up in the LA area. Oh my goodness. My goodness. This is the sun. Daddy choked mommy. Why? What did you do? You hit him and told him to be nice? What did, what did he do that for, though? The, 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 the where, where's the one he's coming? It's right in the window. He threw it out the window? Yeah, Daddy did. He threw her phone out the window? Where did he put your shoes? Oh my gosh, why? Yeah, that's not very nice. What? Hi, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are dealing with a very, very um, classic example of a temporary leftover man. And basically one of the definitions they have for a leftover man um, is basically this. If, you know, basically like a person, you know, abuses someone or strangles someone without just cause, you know, unless it's self-defense, brutalizes somebody for like literally any reason, that person is a leftover. And I got much more of this stuff to literally discuss on the podcast really coming by, coming very, very, very soon. You know what I mean? Kevin Samuels, he, he was the one that actually first discussed this, coming from St. New, talking about a leftover woman. 
But I have a different take on this whole leftover shit, if you know what I mean. Right? So, this dude here, no, Miles Dawkins, right? But I try and put the Miles Bridge, excuse me. Homeboy up here, we clearly know that he is a complete simp, right? He is a clear cut leftover that doesn't even know how to actually keep his temper in check and trying to cool himself off whenever he literally tries to go berserk or even have the, even have the strength to literally walk away with something like this. You know what I mean? And then you literally try to brutalize your wife just because you have a fucking disagreement. I tell you, this dude is a leftover, man. But I don't think I really have not much to say in this. You cannot, 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 cannot defend this behavior. Um, it's clearly like a prop, improper form. A disgusting form of leader. He's like a shitty example of a leader. He he leads shitty by example based on what he did um, over the past few weeks. And mind you, like what 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 went down recently was posted on the video wasn't his first time doing this. I, I bet you it wasn't even his first time doing this. You know, what I mean, he's done stuff like this before. You know, hardcore simping, not even know how to keep his freaking te um, temper in check or even keep his emotions in check or something like this. You know what I'm saying? But be on the lookout. <laughs> this is one example of many that have this temporary left of a man's status. And he can't get out of it. The only way he'll get out of it um, is A, handle the situation, get everything resolved with his wife, get himself into therapy as many times as possible with a mental health specialist to get his head cleared up and check. And if he has to separate from his wife and divorce him, then so be it. You know what I'm saying? Because what happens, unfortunately, I know NBA is like, Viewing all this up as well, and they're going to be doing the proper punishment as well on this. And as we know, the case is currently ongoing, so we can't even go further on all the other charges and assume all guilty because, again, they're still out of cases because right now they are um, undergoing uh, basically the accusation process, and this case is literally going to go underway into trial. So we're definitely going to lead it at that. All right? Y'all go like the video. Y'all comment the video. Subscribe. Share it to any other YouTube you know. And, and make sure that you literally click down on the podcast link in the description where it has a preview of challenging um, Kevin Sanders' ideas when it comes to the love doors. And I will be dropping that fucking heat very soon. So be on the lookout. Be forewarned. Christian, Ball, Christian Paul from the Nerd Chronicles and YouTube sign out. Deuces, deuces, deuces.